Have you ever been awake at night thinking about something that makes you feel excited? Have these thoughts kept you awake for hours? Since I was a kid, I've been thinking about one thing only. Before we reach that point, I want to give you a little bit of context. Being six or seven years old and a boy in Mexico means that you're playing soccer. Why? Because parents want their kids to play sports and soccer is the most important sport in Mexico. This made me start playing soccer at a very young age and I absolutely loved it. I had a childhood where I used to watch more soccer than Disney Channel and this led me to have almost no toys but only soccer shirts. When I was 10 years old, I went to a friend's house and we started playing FIFA. If you don't know, FIFA is this video game where you're playing soccer. And let me tell you that I'm terrible at FIFA. We started playing a tournament with some other friends. I lost the first match and that caused me to get eliminated from the tournament. So I decided to start commentating when they were playing. Out of nowhere, my 10 year old mind realized that there are people that talk, comment and analyze about sports and TV. I thought, what? This is crazy. This is definitely what I want to do when I grow up. I have loved watching sports shows since then. The days with no school, I used to watch sports shows from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I loved watching a show called La Jugada, broadcasted on Televisa, but the problem was that the show premiered Sundays at 10 p.m., so I couldn't watch it. So I would wait for summer vacations, and on Sundays, I would stay up late and watch the show. It was in these moments where I knew I wanted to become a host of a sports TV show. I finished confirming this in what I like to call the best day of my life. It was June 17, 2018, and Mexico played against Germany in the World Cup. I had the opportunity to go to Russia with my family to watch the game. Hours before the match, the atmosphere was unbelievable. My sister got interviewed by Mexican actor Eugenio Derbez and everything was going perfect. Mexico won the match and I couldn't believe what I was living. At that moment, I realized that I want to go to every World Cup that happens until the day I die. I want to transmit passion lead in great moments. Less than six months before this, I thought, hmm, what else can I do to be more prepared to achieve my dream job? So I thought maybe I should learn a third language and I decided to learn German and do an exchange year for one year in Germany. I've always thought German would be a big benefit because maybe someday someone is looking for someone to go to Germany to cover a story or follow a player and I will be ready if that opportunity comes. In the middle of my exchange year living in Germany, I decided to start preparing myself so I started watching interviews of people that work on the sports shows in Mexico to know how they achieved to be where they are professionally today. One key aspect that I noticed was that most of them were working before turning 18. I thought, okay, I just turned 17, I should start doing something. So I started writing soccer articles. The thing was that I didn't know how good the articles were because the only people reading them were my parents. They both said the articles were pretty good, but it was obvious that I was in a parent love situation. That moment was when I realized that I should have a website where I could publish some articles and decided to open it with an Instagram account. Six months after I returned to Mexico, I opened up the Instagram account and the website. With the help of my best friend, I started my own brand, SS Deportes, and I absolutely love it. Today, I want to tell you what has happened in the last 18 months since I launched the website and Instagram account, how this has changed my life and how this has helped me to get closer on achieving my dream job. There have been six steps that I have found during these 18 months that have been crucial during my personal experience. The first one is believe that you can accomplish your goals. Before starting, the most important thing is for you to believe in yourself and keep on believing even though it's not always easy. At the beginning, people started making fun of me since I didn't have many followers or likes. But I didn't care and continue working hard because I knew that by working hard, I would get those followers or likes. I have to say, the amount of followers or likes isn't that relevant, but what actually mattered to me was that more people saw and read what I was posting. A crucial moment, moment for me to believe in myself was when I heard Sergio Deep say, Si tú no crees en ti, nadie va a creer en ti. That translates to, if you don't believe in yourself, then no one's going to believe in you. After watching his TED talk, I realized how important it is to believe in yourself. It's so true. If you don't believe in yourself, then why would other people believe in you? The second step is 
Start working before others and work more. If it's in your possibilities to start working or practicing what you want to do someday as a profession, start now so you have more experience than others that want to achieve the same thing as you. That will always lead you to be better for when the opportunity comes. Miguel Angel Briseño, a friend of mine that works at ESPN Deportes, told me the path will be really hard, full of difficulties, but the moment that you accomplish your goals, it will be all worth it. The third step is make a plan and execute. When you work, you have to start making a plan and put expectations on yourself so that you can see if you're really having improvements or not. When I started, I thought it would be a great thing to finish a year with 750 followers on Instagram. But it made me really happy and I was surprised to see that I finished a year with 3,500 followers. Five months later, I achieved 5,000 followers on Instagram. As I stated before, the number of followers isn't that relevant. What is actually relevant is that more than 5,000 people trust me on telling them what's happening in the sports world and that makes me really happy. The fourth step is be consistent. Being consistent is the most important thing in my opinion. Consistency is everything. There are many athletes that have the talent to become professionals, but they aren't consistent and they don't have the determination needed, so they don't become professionals. In my personal experience, there have been huge rewards because of being consistent. The first one is that I have gotten more followers and people are getting interested in what I post. And the second one is that every time I do a video or write an article, I get better at it. Remember, consistency is extremely important, no matter what you want to accomplish. The fifth step is look for ways of innovation and other learning sources. No matter what you want to do, it's crucial that you keep innovating because innovation makes your final product better. In my case, I do it all the time when I'm talking about sports, effects on my videos, but also with what I'm learning. I try to learn a little bit more of sports where I'm not an expert on and also learn new things like German. I like reaching out to people that do what I want to do and hear their own story. The sixth and my favorite step is be prepared when the opportunity comes. Watching more than 50 interviews of different people that work on the sports journalism industry in Mexico, the common denominator tends to say that if you're working hard, you will have the opportunity. But the most important thing is that you're doing everything to be ready for when that opportunity comes. Because if you're not preparing yourself, then how are you going to compete with others that have been preparing for years? In the last 18 months, I've seen something that I didn't expect to happen. People have started to believe in me that I can accomplish my dream job. It is incredible to see people congratulating you for your hard work and for trying to reach that dream job, even though they know it will be really hard. At the end of the day, I love what I'm doing, love SS Deportes, love sports, love journalism, so why wouldn't I try? It has become a huge part of my life. By following these six steps, I have, my dream job is getting closer and even closer every day. So why not yours? Get into action. Believe in yourself. Work hard. Innovate. Be consistent. Start to, do what, start to work on what you want to accomplish because you have to be ready to grab that opportunity with both hands. The journey is long and it may seem a long path from here, but each step makes you closer. And remember, be ready when the opportunity comes. <laughs>